Hey, what's going on guys? So today, I actually realized that I haven't done an actual bowling update in a while. I haven't done a bowling video in a while. It's all been RC cars. So I want to get my channel back into the bowling spirit. So what better way to tell you an update on my bowling bag, the bowling balls I mainly use in my main bag and secondary bag and retired balls. So I'm going to do that, but first we're going to go through this, which needs a bit of a cleaning. First off, I got four rolls of new hammer tape because I can't find any of this stuff anywhere and I'm always relying on tape. <laughs> um, I actually have a few more rolls of tape in my bag too, so um, tape, tape, tape. Okay, so I'm going to open up my first bag which should have shoes, a towel, and most likely some clothes. <laughs> if you're wondering where there's clothes, I'll get to that in a minute. So opening it up, yep, there's my shoes which could be taken better care of. If I'm being completely honest, I am not taking good care of these at all because I don't have space because <sighs> pants, another pair of pants, two jerseys, shoe cover, slides and heels, another shoe cover, some sort of paper thing, a towel, and a squishy bowling pin for no reason. So let's go over the stuff. So here we have a shoe brush. Not much there. Uh, here we have my sliding shoe, which is pretty dirty as of now. And has a rip. And like all of my shoes that I've had. Because I end up doing something like that. I don't know. Um, <laughs> these shoes are probably $250. If I'm being honest. And it's probably about $50 worth of extras, accessories in here. I have an old shoe cover for my old shoes and a new one for these shoes. You know, I got the shoe cover on, so they're better taken care of. But that with that, the shoe cover can go with it over there. And the brush can go over there. And another shoe cover. Okay, now we're probably into my most important spot in my backpack. And I'll get to how much these four tapes, rolls of tape, were in a second. <laughs> Okay, so first of all, we have some pink scissors, because I can't find any other scissors. We have my newest some, which is an oval at a one-tenth pitch, I think. Probably more like one-sixth. I honestly don't know the pitch, but it has a black piece of tape in there. A little tape holder that needs to be refilled with tape, because it only has um, thumb tape, and it's supposed to be finger tape. My older thumb that gave my thumb a blister, so. A thing of tape that needs to be rolled up again. It's five basically new rolls of tape, and they are each about $15, so 15, 30, 45, 60, about $75 worth of tape right here. Thumb remover, some new skin, which I need some more of. Another thumb with all this tape on it. It's the same as the last green one. Got some hand sanitizer, because you gotta keep them hands moist while bowling. And a whole bunch of other things, like for some reason I got a mood ring, a bunch of extra tape wrappers, uh, candy wrappers, uh, I'm trying to find one thing but I can't exactly find it, I think I have a diamond here somewhere. Oh, and uh, more tape. Did I mention the part where there's um, tape wrappers? I think I forgot to mention tape wrappers. One last thing, we got some wound seal, so if something's bleeding or something, something opened up. I put this powder in there and it should seal it up. Yes, it is going to hurt a lot, like a biscuit, but uh, yeah, it's it's better than nothing. So um, yeah, that's about all that's in my most important bag, my thumb and my hand bag in general. I'll organize it when I put it back in, don't worry. I'll move all this tape wrappers. I don't think I ever mentioned how much I have of that. Just put that over here. Now up to a slot that I don't really care about too much, although it's pretty important still. It's a chamois bag, which only has one since apparently I can lose two. I lost a turbo one I had and a hammer one, but they were both sold anyway, so I figured it might be a good time to use a new one. I don't know where to put my name on it, so I, I don't know, but I might just put it right here. No, I have a better idea. Yeah, it's good enough. Just uh, put that in there, and we'll get going. And of course, you can't see it, so we gotta rewrite it. Good enough for me. Okay, so now we got another important bag, probably my second most important bag. 
it is my powders bag I like to call. So I got an old, well not old, maybe two years old rosin bag from Storm that's cherry flavored I guess you could say. So we got that dusty tape for no reason. Got one bag of slip, probably with another thing of slip in it, and that's what it looks like and that's how powdery my hand can get. This stuff makes a mess. <laughs> this thing made so much of a mess because of how powdery it is. That is actually it for my bag though. I mean, I thought I, I, thought I had more here. I might have more on like these sides. Probably not though, but hey. I don't have much in my bag. I'm gonna put all of it in and then we'll get into my bowling balls. Okay guys, um, so I got the bag done here. Now it's time for the bowling balls. How long has that been there? Okay, so first we're gonna get into my main bowling bag, the, ma the bowling balls that I would mainly bring to usually league, sports shot, or something like that. First off, we have probably one of the most important bowling balls in our which is a plastic ball. This is just a maximum, I forgot the name of it. Uh, there's nothing too special about it, except it's gone through its time. It's probably time for a new one, but it works. And uh, yeah, still my plastic ball. Next up, we have my newest and favorite ball. And, um, it is the Columbia 300 Beast, the Beast Hybrid. It is drilled pin up above the bridge. And it is one of my favorites. <laughs> if I'm being honest, I mean, uh, I still need to switch over to my new size of finger inserts. Because these fit me way better. But this ball is a dream to throw. It has nice early reaction, even though it's pin up. And it just goes down lane easy. You'll get... I wouldn't say it's a guaranteed strike, but I'd say it can get close if you know how to throw it. <clears throat> now we have one of my most favorite fun bowling balls. And this one is the Evanite Real One. This ball is drilled pin up way above the bridge. And, um... Oh my I don't know the exact cover stock on it. But other than that, this ball can go down lane so far, come back with such a snappy reaction. It is a dream on the right oil pattern because this ball hooks way too much for any other oil pattern. But um, now we'll get into my backup bag and one other ball. Whew. Okay. <laughs> Uh, so next we have my backup bag, my backup bag, my backup bag, or my second bag I usually bring. It has a flawless drilled pin up above the bridge. You'll realize that with most of my bowling balls, that's where everything is, pin up above the bridge. I've only had one pin down uh, below the bridge, but you'll notice this is a trend pin up above the bridge. This is a hammer flawless, I think I've already said. Really nice ball. It's it was one of my mains before I got the beast. I don't know what else to say. It's a great ball. Got Next up, we have a seriously. This is the if you ha don't have a plastic ball, get one of these, and you'll you'll be just fine. You can use it as a strike ball, a spare ball. I don't know. You can use it for basically anything. This is a hammer purple urethane. I got it pretty much before they stopped making them, and it's pretty expensive now since they don't make them anymore, but I just drilled pin up right next to the bridge. I mean, there's nothing else to say besides it's gone through its use. It used to be a main ball of mine, but again, I, I didn't get to use it very long. It probably was my main ball for about a week when the oil was really short, and can't use it when it's long because it's just gonna spin out now. Next up, we have one ball that was gonna become my main, but I got another ball with it to phase two. I got that, that was the one I got pinned down. And uh, this one I got at the same time. I would have made it my main ball, but the phase two, I just love that ball so much. And then I, I don't know what happened with it. What did happen with my phase two? I think there was a chip in it or something. I never got the ball back, but then I got a free ball. 
And then I think I went with Bieber. Uh, you'll see that ball next. I almost said it. But this ball is to pin up above the bridge. It's got chip in the finger. And uh, yeah, I don't use it as much as I'd like to. But it's a pretty beat up ball. Uh, track intuition. Next up we have my newest and... Well, not newest. My second newest and strongest ball. That is in my arsenal. And this is the Hammer Redemption. Drill pin up. And this pin also looks very cool. This ball looks very cool going down the lane. But it's so strong. And it is actually, I'm pretty sure, my only solid. I have urethane, but all the rest of mine are pearls. And this is the only solid I have. And I'm not used to throwing solids. And besides phase two. Phase two is my only other solid. And that one I got drilled pinned down. So... But other than that, that's all my active bowling balls. We can go into all my retired bowling balls in a second. We gotta go downstairs, and I quite frankly do not like it downstairs. What are you? Stay away from me. Okay, so here we have one of my favorite bowling balls at the time before I retired it. Now, I didn't retire it because of these cracks or anything. I just retired it because I felt like it. And I'm realizing now that was a bad idea. Now it's got these sort of crack or scratches. I don't know what it is. So I don't know if it's safe to throw again or not. I mean, it's not like they're spreading and it looks just like a knife or something went across it. But I don't know. I'm thinking about bringing it back. But I'm not too sure. It's very hard to tell what I'm going to do. Then we come over here to my retired bowling balls. Here we have my old 12-pound... Oh, that was loud. Here we have my old 12 pound spare ball and I've actually rolled it a little bit down here. It's probably why it's got all these chips. I honestly could care less about this ball. I mean, it's not like I'm gonna do anything with it. So. <laughs> Next up, we got my Columbia 300. Ah, that was loud. Next up, we got my Columbia 300, I think it is, Antics. This is a very old ball and I probably shouldn't be doing what I'm doing with it. This ball, I care a little bit more. <laughs> Then with this ball, but I'm pretty sure I got this ball for like 20 bucks, so I don't really care. Plus, I can't even throw it, so what's the point? Okay, so next up, we have my old 10-pound ball, and I'm actually going to treat this one with care. Since this one actually means a lot to me. This is my other only pin-down ball that I have. Granted, I didn't know how to throw it at the time, so I'm just going to put that back. That's my dad's old ball. That is a retired 14-pound ripped that I used to throw. That is an old retired uh, pivot master also pinned down and I hated that ball so much But I got it for free so I don't really care. Okay guys that's the end of this video. If you did like please leave a like uh, Subscribe if you want to and uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one